The Roche Protofab Mercury Capri team was a big winner at last week's inaugural Texas Challenge Trans Am race held at Green Valley Race City. Number seven, Tom Gloy, won the season series title. Lee T. Ribs finished first in the race, and teammate Johnny Jones finished second. The Roche Protofab team has been dominant this year, winning 10 of 13 races so far. They also lead the manufacturer standings with over 100 points. I asked winner Willie T. Ribs how he accounts for the success of the team this year. I think uh, the Protofab team, Roush Protofab, designer Bob Riley, Jack Roush, engine builder, Charlie Seelick, Gary Pratt, everybody on that team is an all pro. You know, everybody there, they come from Indy cars, they come from uh, 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 NASCAR, a great team, you know, it's like having a good front line in front of you, you can mow the opposition over, and that's what I've got. Well, with Tom Gloy winning the championship, you must feel good today being able to win here and your other victories this year. Well, I've got four victories and I've missed four races, so it's been uh, an exceptionally fantastic year. Well, it's got to be especially Brad, after some of the things that's happened earlier this year and in the past with you, you really have to feel good about it. Yeah, yeah, I can't tell you just how good I think that the public knew that, uh, you know, what happened was, was not my fault. And they also knew that I was going to come back and win and you might have a new people's champ on your hand. For Jones, this was only his third race behind the wheel of the Capri, but he echoed rib sentiments. I think it's, they've done so much testing and you know, they really come and they come in with a super attitude. You know, they come in, gonna give it their best shot to win and, and it shows, you know, they've worked, they've done their homework and they've really prepared these cars. I think that's what has paid off for them, that their cars are lasting. They, they go the distance, the whole 100 miles, whereas the other cars, their brakes are wearing out or whatever is causing them to slow down and are putting more of the race totally. Do you think that's going they're going to be dominant again next year possibly? Uh, you've just been with them three races, but in what you've seen, do you think they've progressed that far? I think they're going to be there again next year. There might be some other people moving up, but Lincoln Mercury and Motorcraft, when they're working together, they do such a super job and they, they work for that one goal. And I think that's what's going to pay for them. I, I'm sure they'll be there again next year. It might be a little tougher but they will be in contention, I'm sure. Do you think it was a good spectator race from that standpoint? The, the track is not, I guess, one of the best you've run. Do you think the spectators got to see a good race? I think they did. At the start, it was really interesting. There was, you know, down at the far end, the first turn was something to watch. I was right in there, and I was just trying to get myself in a clear spot and not get hit or anything, and a few of them did, unfortunately. But it was, it was a pretty decent go. The bunch in front of me were having a good duel for a while. I couldn't see the very lead pack, but the bunch that were ahead of me were really having a good day, so that should have made it interesting for them. Scott Snyder for the Irving Weekend Review.